Hello, friends of Skelevator. Even though the three and three quarter inch action figure has a special place in my heart because of Star Wars and I grew up in that generation, um, I was hesitant to begin collecting the Masters of the Universe reaction line from Super 7. But once I jumped in and got my core villains, I fell in love. These figures are amazing. Their colors are fantastic. Um, and I really enjoy what Super 7 creates. So we decided to take a road trip. Now, the first time we went to Super 7, it was kind of like a National Lampoon's vacation, Wally World scenario, and we we arrived. It was New Year's Day, and they were closed. Um, so we made the most of the trip and enjoyed San Francisco. But so our first trip during the pandemic was this spring break, and we decided to go to Super 7 as a family and have a look at their stuff. And they were open, and we were stoked. Their selection of items here in the store um, is particularly unique because there are a lot of t-shirts and figures that you can no longer find on their website, which was very cool. And you, you know, as a, opposed to finding them on eBay, the prices at the Super 7's physical store is actually accurate to their normal website prices, which is great. They're not raising their costs, their prices. Um, some of these t-shirts, as you can see here, like the She-Ra, the Hordak, and the Trapjaw, they are no longer available on the website. Um, so if you go to their store, you'll see their selection. Now, these are um, their own line, the worst, and I've been anxious and interested in collecting those. I hesitated on this trip. I really wanted to check out their punk figures and their rock figures. Um, and they're, they're great. Um, and they also have a vintage display of Masters of the Universe figures, and um, they also have some of their Star Wars vintage collection here too, which is really cool to see that they pay homage to the collection, to the figures that uh, inspired their own work. Um, as you can see, these are all loose and in the case and protected from customers handling them. Love that remote control R2-D2. And, uh, you know, immediately we as a family reacted positively to the Peanuts figures, the, the Mars Attacks figures, and um, I really love their Toxic Avenger figures there. And of course, we're big fans of the Universal Monsters as well. Um, and here is the full line of their Masters of the Universe reaction figures on display. Of course, uh, they're no longer available in the store, which was I was hoping to find maybe one. And these are all figures, according to the store uh, manager, that they've created since their San Francisco store opened. I love that weird science guy. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles... Transformers. So we got a few and headed home. And this is what we brought home from the store. So they had a deal going on at the store buy five, no, buy four figures and get a fifth one for free, um, which was really cool. So we decided on these five. Um, our daughter got Squidward and the Scout. Snoopy um, and Woodstock figures. And I got two for myself. And one of them is there, the Mars Attacks and the Phantom Starkiller. And I got this creature who walks among us from my friend Mark, who hosts the Wake Up Heavy podcast. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the two that I got for me. This is um, the Proton Purple Haze Phantom Starkiller and the Mars Attacks destroying a dog um, figure here. So I'm a big fan of Mars Attacks. I love that the Tim Burton movie really plays homage to the dark humor that was represented in the collector card art. Um, I love the style of this art. I love the absurdity. So I decided to get Destroying a Dog. Um, the dog 
sort of looks like our dog, Otis, actually. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, I, love, I love this image. I love that it pays tribute to the card, the collector card art. I like that they didn't go above and beyond to add detail, that the artwork and the paint application really, really pays homage to the cards, to the card art. Now the face is astounding. Um, the paint application here and the detail is really phenomenal. Um, and I'm super excited to have this guy. Now, I couldn't resist Phantom Starkiller, and for those of you that are fans of Masters of the Universe and fans of Star Wars, you, you know why. Um, Peter Goral created this character as an homage, um, in a way, to Star Wars Kenner figures and, um, and Masters of the Universe. Obviously, you see Skeletor there in that skull face with the hood. Um, and he even has a lightsaber that is similar to Darth Vader's and Obi-Wan Kenobi's. Um, the, sti the, the Super 7 saber here is a little stiff, but I think if I mess around with it a little bit more, it'll, it'll start to move around. But I just love the colors of the pro Proton Purple Haze version of Phantom Starkiller. I'm super happy to have him. What's funny is that he is so similar to my version of me, Skelevator. Um, that I painted not too long ago. So um, here they are. I'm really excited to have them as part of the collection. They fit right in. I can't wait to take some photos with these characters um, hanging out together. So thank you for watching, folks. Thank you for going on this trip with me and my family. And uh, remember, you can find Skelevator on Instagram, on Facebook, and you can visit the Skelevator store on Etsy. And uh, again, thanks so much for watching and subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.